I am here today to talk to you about nuclear and solar energies. Nuclear energy is created when a uranium atom is split using a process that is known as fission and is done in a reactor. The energy from this fission produces heat that is used in a facility that can produce steam causing turbines to spin and generate electricity. Nuclear energy began to become developed in the years of 1895 to 1945. The last six of those years was mostly focused on the construction of the atomic bomb. After 1945, nuclear energy was then utilized to find ways to make electricity and for naval propulsion. In 1956, the focus then turned to the creation of a reliable nuclear power, power plant. Nuclear energy is a good source of energy because there are no carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, or nitrogen oxide emissions while in the process of creating electricity in the nuclear energy facilities. This means that there is zero greenhouse emissions or greenhouse gases. Nuclear energy is one of the only clean air energy sources that can be produced at any time of the day. A pencil eraser, which is about this size, is the size of a single uranium fuel pellet. Fuel pellet. The single fuel pellet can produce the same as 1,780 pounds of cool, as cool, uh, 1,780 pounds of cool. Another benefit of nuclear energy is that it would take roughly 45 square miles of solar panels or 260 miles of turbines to equal the same amount of electricity as a nuclear power plant. Nuclear energy is not considered a renewable energy because renewable energy uses essential limit, limitless supplies of fuel. Some examples of renewable energy would be considered to be water, the sun, or wind. Nuclear energy is, however, referred to being a sustainable energy source due to there being enough uranium present in the world to be fuel for more than a hundred years. Nuclear energy has many uses in our society today. It could be used to power schools, businesses, homes, and hospitals. The Navy has even found ways for their ships to be powered by nuclear energy. Solar energy that is created from the sun that is then turned into electrical energy. There are many uses today for solar energy. My family actually uses solar energy to power our electric fences for our pastures to keep our cattle in. This energy source is used to generate electricity, heating water in commercial, industrial, and domestic uses, and, we and can be utilized to provide light. Solar energy is considered to be a renewable source of energy because of our endless supply from the sun and is thought to be the cleanest. This energy is a flexible technology that can be built in, on, or near a site and can store energy to use later when the sun sets. There are several ways that this energy is created. Photovoltaics or solar electric is a process that uses semiconductors that naturally generates electricity. They free the electrons in solar energy and travel through an electrical circuit. These devices can be used to power small electronics like calculators, the solar device, road signs, homes, or even commercial businesses. There is also solar heating and cooling, which is a technology that collects solar thermal energy and uses the heat to provide hot water full heating, space heating, and cooling to anywhere from residential all the way to industrial. There are two types of solar systems, active or passive. Active solar systems are a mechanical or electrical device that can convert the solar heat to another form of usable energy. Passive solar systems are buildings that have been designated to collect, store, and then distribute the energy from sunlight without the use of moving parts or electronics. The benefits of solar energy are the ability to be able to install these devices anywhere. You can use this type of energy when you go off the grid or to power remotely when generators or other sources are not practical. You could even use the solar energy to light your walkway through little solar powered lights that stick, you stick in your lawn. There are so many interesting facts about the different types of energies and I think it's very important that everyone takes a little bit of time to understand each type. I hope I have been able to teach a little about solar energy and nuclear energy. Thank you for your time and I hope you have a good week.